Good evening, everybody. A mother watches three small caskets lowered into the ground, saying goodbye to her children forever. But she told mourners they will live on in her heart. The children and their grandparents died in a Christmas Day fire in Stanford. News 8's Jamie Muro is covering services live from New York City. Jamie. Words really difficult to find to talk about a situation like this and what we saw today. And speaking of words, in the first passage that was read, it came from Ecclesiastes in the Holy Bible. And part of that reads, there is a time to weep and a time to laugh. Madonna Badger did both today here at St. Thomas Episcopal Church when she stood in front of the congregation talking about her children, her three children that were now in front of her in three small caskets. How can one carry so much grief, live with so much pain? How can life be so cruel that parents Matthew and Madonna Badger must watch three caskets carry their babies in a final farewell? And it's not one day at a time, it's one minute at a time. Just think, put yourself in her position. How do you handle this? So much laughter has been replaced with a sea of sorrow. Twice, New York City fell silent for a moment one surreal, awful moment when the caskets were carefully led into the church and then carried out. I felt an obligation to be here. I had to be here. Ten-year-old Lillian Badger, her seven-year-old twin sisters Sarah and Grace Badger lost their lives in a consuming house fire in Stanford on Christmas morning. Madonna Badger's parents, Loma and Pauline Johnson, also perished. St. Thomas Episcopal Church held the funeral, where more than 1,000 people offered support in the depths of disbelief. I was crying. Everybody around me was crying. Yet sorrow cannot eclipse joyful memories, memories that Madonna shared before the congregation. The girl, she said, will live in her heart. And it's up to us to share love with one another. How does one live with such grief? For Madonna, it's the love she spoke of the love she will continue to feel from her three little girls. He said they're going to live forever in my heart. You know, that's what it is. It's in your heart. You know, you're never going to have them back, but you can feel them. And there are so many things we saw today that stick in your mind, even when they passed out the funeral program here that lists the three names of the girls. And when it talks about the deceased date, the day they died, December 25th, just there in black and white. And you sat there in the church and looked at that and just shook your head in amazement about, again, how much grief so many people here are dealing with right now and continue to deal with after they left the church. Because once they left here, there was then a private burial service here in New York City. And we are live in Midtown in New York City. I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.